hello guys welcome to the dms online school in today's video we'll look at the 2024 gce science paper one prediction so this gce science paper one prediction is a prediction that i give to those going into an exam to offer them as a guide to look at the topics they have to revise through before going for their exam so that they maximize on their revision all right so this prediction must not be considered as a leakage but must be considered as a mere guide to help them go through revisions and prepare for their examination all right so if you're new to this channel guys you are most welcome and on this channel i offer online tuitions in mathematics science english biology civic education re and also revise past examination papers so if what i do on this channel is what you're interested in please consider clicking the red subscribe button below and turn on the bell notification so that whenever i post a new video youtube will be able to notify you so without further ado let's go straight into the prediction All right so guys this prediction consists of two parts the first part of the prediction is what i've titled key exam topics and subtopics so through my analysis i've discovered that there are some topics that are ever in the examinations from 2015 to 2023 these topics have always been coming in the examinations and because of that I've now classified those topics as key exam topics and subtopics and also after this I'm going to give you my predicted topics that I expect to be there in this CSC GCE exam science paper one all right so without further ado let's go straight again into the topics all right so the first topic is actually general physics so under general physics the subtopics that you need to look at are number one you need to look at the international system of units then you also need to look at length and time under length and time you need to look at measurement of length using various instruments like the micrometer screw gauge venia caliper meter rule and also you need to look at time under time you need to look at the pendulum how to calculate the period how to calculate the number of oscillation and so forth and so on and also you need to look at mass and the weight and also you need to look at um, volume so you need to look at how weight is measured how mass is measured how mass is calculated and how weight is calculated and also how weight is calculated okay so once you do this you need to go to another topic which is the uh, mechanics mechanics is another topic that is always there in an exam so here the subtopics are actually linear motion under linear motion you look at the velocity acceleration and then from there you go to forces then under forces also you have the laws of motion newton's first law of motion second law of motion and then third law of motion and also you need to look at extension then after that you need to look at moment of forces then you need to look at the work energy and power so under work energy and power you need to look at kinetic energy potential energy then power itself and then you need to look at the, how to calculate efficiency then from there you look at simple machines so under simple machines you need to look at different kinds of machines like the lever the pulley systems and also the inclined plane then you need to look at the wedge, the axle, and then you need to look at how to calculate the mechanical advantage for each uh, type of machine, also velocity ratio, and also efficiency. So these are grade 10 topics which don't miss in an exam. Then next, we look at the grade 11 topics. The first one which does not miss is wave motion. So under wave motion, you need to look at the longitudinal and the transverse waves. You need to look at what a longitudinal wave is and how to draw it the parts how it is generated how it differs from a transverse wave and also apply the wave equation in solving wave motion problems like solving velocity of the wave frequency of the wave then wavelength of the wave then also you look at the main components of electromagnetic spectrum and then you also look at properties of electromagnetic waves then you need also to know that sound is another key topic that does not miss in exams then under sound you need to look at the properties of sound 
then you need to look at how to determine the speed of sound in air you need to know also ultrasonic sound then also you need to look at uh, light is another topic that does not miss under light you need to look at electrical uh, propagation of light formation of shadows and eclipse laws of reflection of light then a refraction of light verify the laws of refraction of light reflects uh, refractive index and then you look at the lenses okay then the other topic is actually a grade 12 topic which is a current electricity this one is a key topic exam topic which does not miss under here you look at the uh, electric charge you look at electric current you look at potential difference which is voltage uh, resistance the use of switches fuses ethene and the three pin plug okay so this topic is a key exam topic which does not miss then you also look at another key exam topic which is electromagnetic induction under electromagnetic induction you look at the transformers so transformers they also don't miss they may miss in section b but you may find a question from section a coming from electromagnetic uh, induction then after that you need to know that the last topic actually which doesn't miss in exams is uh, atomic physics so under atomic physics you need you need to look at the nuclear atom itself and then you need to look at the radioactivity all right so guys these topics they are key exam topics you don't need to go in an exam without revising through these okay so if you are one of those that feel like you need videos to revise you are not well prepared well i have videos which I have been teaching because I teach online. I have been teaching grade 10 to 12 physics and I've recorded a bunch of videos from grade 10 to uh, 12 physics uh, revisions which are going at uh, instead of paying 480 kwacha because of the time remaining if one needs them this is includes also chemistry videos then one has to pay a maximum of 240 quarter for you to access these revisions okay so that they help you to go through certain topics which you might find to be difficult which i've explained very well like nuclear or a radioactivity right so if you want these videos you pay 240 if you want to contact me you contact me on the number 0977-9241-75 you can whatsapp me on that number and tell me sir i want revisions video for science the one that are going at you 240 quacha and then after you make the payment you'll be given access to these uh, videos all right now that i've talked about the topics that are or that are considered to be key topics in an exam let me now go to the part two of this prediction where i've predicted the topics with high probability of being in this year's exam so the first topic in uh, number one in grade 10 is general physics general physics will be there and the other one is mechanics see? then as usual these topics if you need to go through them then you need to contact me on this line so that you can get you the revisions at one at 240 of course i have another package i forgot thank god i've remembered i have two more packages these ones are a little bit cheaper the first one is a past paper revision where i've revised past examination papers from 2015 to 2023 these are past paper revision videos where i've explained step by step each and every question and how one supposed to answer them so if you are going in an exam you need to watch these videos so that they prepare you how to answer these examinations questions okay so you can contact me on the number on nine seven seven ninety two forty one seventy five okay then we go to grade 10 under grade 10 we have i mean 11 under grade 11 we have wave motion we have sound and then we have also light okay then the last part is magnetism so these are expected to have high probability of being in this cse exam then from there we move to grade 12 
The 12 topics are just static electricity with high probability electromagnetic induction with high probability and basic electronics and then atomic physics. Okay, so these topics are considered to have high probability of being in this CSE examination. So don't go in an examination without going through these uh, lessons. And once again, I'm saying I have a topic by topic revision through exam past papers going at 120. And again, I have a past paper revision through videos from 2015 to 2023 paper one and paper two going at 120 then i have video lessons from grade 10 to 12 going at 240 quarter for both physics and chemistry so if you want all the packages you call me if you want one of the package you can call me or whatsapp me on that line and then after doing the payment you'll be given access to them uh, these packages okay so guys i wish you all the best in this year's exam i encourage you to study to prepare exams are always easy when you prepare adequately so this time remaining don't waste it for anything just focus on revising because after revising you will be able to do that which you want to do thank you very much for supporting and for watching for now bye and see you in the next revision